Hello friends and welcome to Review Maza and today we are going to discuss about LPS that is a low pressure switch. First of all friends what is the use of a low pressure, low pressure switch? A low pressure switch is used for where uh, when the pressure of the incoming water is reduced the uh, switch use acts as a protection for the motor so that the motor get, does not uh, runs dry so low pressure switch actually cuts off your motor from the supply so the motor switches off and your motor is saved so it does not run dry okay friends so this uh, low pressure switch is a protection switch and it is very useful so let's get started i'll show you how to use it and where to get it i'll also be giving you the links and i'll request you friends please like and share my videos and please subscribe so let's get started Okay friends, I am, I am showing you very quick way to how to use a low pressure switch LPS switch. So as I told you that low pressure switch acts as a protection switch that actually switches off the entire system if your incoming water is not giving a lot of pressure or the required pressure to work. So this low pressure switch is very simple to use as uh, you need to just put a piece of pipe like this and secure it and you will require a T so I'll make sure that uh, this is the incoming source of water okay friends so the assume that this this uh, this is coming from the incoming source so the incoming water will I'll be putting over here and right now I'm not showing you any uh, water purifier you can use it in any type of water purifier and you can use it any uh, anywhere not only for water purifier you can use it for any application so low pressure switch are used very very various places like uh, washing machines and even in uh, uh, water purifiers and everywhere else applications so you'll require a t connection so you need to install this low pressure switch before all other parts like a solenoid wall and everything else first you need to install first you need to install a low pressure switch so the water coming from the tap or the connector will first go to the low pressure switch it will activate it and then it will go to solenoid wall after that from solenoid wall it will go to the pump oh sorry uh, first it will go means uh, whatever connection whatever uh, pre filters or sediment filters will come before this switch so the water from this sediment filter and carbon filter will come over here it will go in here activate the switch and after that it will go to the solenoid wall and after that it will go to the pump and from pump it will go to the membrane okay friends so <coughs> you need to uh, wire with this uh, cable clamps cable lugs first will go in the up, upper connector and second will go into the bottom connector you can use it anywhere no problem okay just plug it inside securely check it is secured okay and as we know that the connection what we do is we actually we connect solenoid wall and the pump like this so what we have to do is we need to separate the red connection that is the positive connection uh, we need to connect the solenoid wall also solenoid wall so the power supply coming from the SMPS take out the positive terminal and just connect it to the LPS like this uh, one wire coming from the LPS anywhere from up or down it doesn't matter you can use it from anywhere just connect one wire like this and make it secure secure it with the tape positive terminal coming from the SMPS goes to the 
one wire that is going into the LPS second wire coming from the LPS will connect to the solenoid wall and the positive wire of the motor secure it properly with tape the negative wire connected to the negative terminals ok friends so connection is done that means the negative wires will go directly to the solenoid wall and motor only the positive wire will positive wire from the SMPS will first go into the solenoid uh, the low pressure switch and the second wire coming from the switch will go to the positive terminals of the solenoid wall and the motor okay and everything else will remain same very important friends the LPS should come before the solenoid wall the water from the sediment filter and then carbon filter that will come directly first to the low pressure switch otherwise if you put the low pressure switch after solenoid wall the low pressure switch will not work because it will not sense water so it will first need to sense water so it must be before any anything before the pump or the solenoid wall ok friends I hope you get it clear and I hope this video will help you and you should uh, use this low pressure switch but the problem with the low pressure switch uh, if you don't get a good quality one low pressure switch get, tends to get damaged early uh, most of the times it gets uh, damaged or it does not work properly if it is not of a good quality so friends uh, use good quality ones uh, ok friends please like and share my videos please like my channel and thank you for giving me ideas for the videos please like and share and subscribe to my channels thank you very much friends